Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be decorating my house and my altar for Astara. It's been a couple of years since I have really decorated for Astara in sort of a big way. But this year, because spring came a little later than normal, I'm really feeling called to celebrate Ostara. I'm really feeling celebrate, like called to really celebrate that spring fresh energy. And the only way I know how to do it, <laughs> at least to get me in the mood to begin with, is to decorate. So today, that's exactly what we are going to do. My kids are at school, I've got the day off, and I have no plans for the afternoon. It's a beautiful sunny day, and I want to decorate. So that's what we're gonna do. But before I do that, we need to do some tidying. So let's go and take a look at the messes that we need to clean up first before I can put the beautiful finishing touches up in my house. So there's three main rooms that need a little bit of tidying. The first is my bedroom. Um, it's not bad. We did just finish putting this room back together on the weekend, and obviously we've painted and everything. You can go watch the vlogs. There's three parts uh, to how this room came together. There's a sleepy Luna. Hello, sleepy Luna. Um, however, I do need to clean up in particular around the litter box and there's just little bits and tidying. I filmed a video earlier. I need to tidy up after that. So this is the first room that really needs a good tidy. I need to make the bed. I need to pick stuff up. I need to clean around the litter box. I just need to put a few different odds and ends away. This shouldn't take me more than about 15 minutes to clean this room. Let's go see the other rooms though. So one space that really needs tidying is this closet here. Uh, this is at the base of our um, stairs and it needs some tidying up. We need to put away winter boots and winter coats and we need to make the spring stuff available more forefront. I'm not gonna completely pack away the winter stuff yet because this is Canada and we can get freak snowstorms in March once in a while. Yeah. However, hey Tasha. However, towards the ends of March, uh, towards Astara, it's very rare for us to get any more snow. Things like hats and gloves still need to be kept out, but we don't need um, the really, really heavy parkas anymore. We need sort of like a lighter winter jacket out, a heavier spring jacket. But my stairs also need to be vacuumed. It's been a little bit, so I'm gonna vacuum the stairs today for sure. And lastly, my living room. <laughs> living room slash hallway. These, I and technically I guess also my kitchen now looking at it as well. Yeah, things are quite untidy. Um, yeah, so I guess it's four main spaces. The living room isn't terrible, but a little bit of tidying does need to take place. And I'm gonna run the Roomba up here after I tidy because this space doesn't need a ton of vacuuming, but it does need a little bit of help with like dog hair and dust and debris that's on the floor. You know, it's not awful, but it's enough to be distracting. So I'm gonna tidy this space and then we're gonna block off the kitchen from the room because my son will be sweeping in there this afternoon, that's his job. And so yeah, let's just put this room back together in a better way.
I got the spring slash Easter decorations out of our, um, why the hell is this in here? I don't remember buying this. Um, yeah, <laughs> Easter spring decorations are here. So let's grab out the ones that are going on my altar. So I always have these beautiful eggs um, on my altar. And then I also like this little guy. And this little guy I just got at the dollar store. So those are going on my altar. Everything else in here is going upstairs. So let's go and place them, shall we? these little foam flowers and eggs but you know I don't think I have anywhere for them oh actually you know what I think I do have somewhere for them to go so we used to use them in our like standing it was like a vase with some dried stuff in the living room we don't have that anymore but I wonder if that might fit into there let me find out yeah, I suppose that looks all right. The only thing that's missing now though are some fresh flowers. And I don't currently have any. I want to just get um, a bouquet of tulips and then that way we'll be ready to do the kitchen next. So I'm gonna get a bouquet of tulips and then we will continue on this little decorating adventure soon. my altar needs a tiny bit of attention. There are a couple things on here that I want to remove, like all these little tiny spruce cones, like these. I'm also going to remove um, at least, hmm, how do I want to do this? Do I even want to do it at all? That's the question. I think I'm just going to leave one of these up. I think I'm going to put the other one away. Um, 
and I might put away, am I going to put away, no I'm not going to put away the skull, who am I kidding? Uh, acorn can go away, so all these can go away. Um, and I think I might switch out some of the crystals for like more springy ones. So I think I'm going to take away all of these like really neutral colored crystals and rocks. And I think I'm going to replace them with like some brighter, more vibrant colors to sort of welcome in spring. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to add um, my rabbit and my um, eggs in so that they, it just looks a little bit more springy, it looks a little bit more full of life. I do love my altars these days to be relatively neutral, but I want it to be neutral with a pop of color, with a pop of spring. So let's do that, shall we? There we have it, neutral with a pop of color. And the altar cloth is covered in cat hair. Who would have guessed it with us? <laughs> um, it's not the most fantastic looking altar that I've ever had, but I'm happy with it. I'm content. It's not gonna be up forever. Um, and I would like to get some flowers in here, I think, or something. I wanna put something in there, but I don't know what yet. I have to figure that out actually hold on perfect <laughs> i love it oh my god i love it that's beautiful the morrigan candle can go away this can just slide over not that the morrigan's candle is going to go very far because i'm going to go put it over here um she always has to have representation on my altar. I mean, and she does already from the statue, but there's always a candle for the Morrigan. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. I think that looks lovely. Slightly off balance right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. You might see the arrangement slightly differently over the next couple of weeks, but I think for now we're good. I've decorated the house, I've tidied the house, I have windows open over here and upstairs. Hello, Tasha, again. Um, yeah, I know. You just love to be so talkative on my video. She's not this talkative normally, guys. You guys get all the chatter. When I start talking with the camera, she just, like, comes alive. <laughs> You're born star, aren't you? Um, but yeah, I've got the windows open letting some fresh air in. I'll close them in a couple hours when it cools down and then we're all ready for spring. It feels so nice to be refreshed. I needed this more than I think I knew. Okay guys, tell me what you're doing to freshen up your life for spring and for Ostara down below. What are your ritual plans? Do you have any? Do you normally celebrate Ostara? Give me all the deets in the comments and I will see you guys again very soon. Until then, you know the drill. Be wise, be brave, and be magical, my loves. Bye!